today we are going to bottle our kombucha. I know a few of you have been messaging me and you guys want to know how I bottle my kombucha. It is one of the most simplest ways of doing it. Easy, easy, easy. Um, I'm just going to crack this open so you guys can see. There's the top of my kombucha. You see how it's starting to make a new film? Uh, now, if I had a wider, uh, a wider scoby, it would be layering itself on top of that. Because I used a smaller scoby, it was more long than it was wide, it's kind of concentrating in the same spots. I am going to take, first I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm just going to keep this covered. And Erica is going to help me measure my, um, my juice that we're going to pour in. But I'm going to wash my hands one more time. We're so excited. We have a robin that laid beautiful blue eggs, attached itself to our nest, uh, attached her nest to our grapevine right under part of our balcony. So we get to see Mama taking care of her eggs, and it's one of the pretty exciting for us because in the city you don't always get a chance to see, to see stuff like that. So okay here we go. I have a clean glove. I'm just going to pick all of this up and I am going to put it in here and I'm going to scoop up some of my liquid. Why is she tweeting like that? I'm not sure. Okay my scoop looks ugly but it's clean guys. I should get some new ones huh? Stained. I'm just going to put some for now just so it doesn't dry up and you really want to love and take care of the scoby you don't want to contaminate it with anything there we go and I'm going to cover that push this aside now you can mix this up so this way you get some of that beautiful yeast that's at the bottom and you can put it inside your uh, your bottles as you're bottling them. But to make my life easy, I am going to get another container where I'm going to pour this in. It's just going to make my life that much easier when I pour it. So I'm just going to go off camera just for a second, guys. Okay. There we go. It's a beautiful fizz. And yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this one. Uh, someone asked about the hibiscus. What do I do for hibiscus? Number one, if I'm doing a hibiscus, I want to have a green tea because it's a lighter tea. And when you put the hibiscus, I'm going to show you which ones I use. Here we go. When we do it with hibiscus, I have the dry hibiscus flower that I just dropped. And it depends how light or how tangy you want it, because this will be tangy. So I'm going to put about two of these, maybe, yeah, two hibiscus flowers. That's all you really need. And it's going to give it a nice taste. But because we put only the, uh, the leaves of the hibiscus flower, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweeten it. So you can sweeten it with white sugar, uh, maple, uh, you can use uh, um, cane sugar, right Erica? Cane sugar, uh, you could even use honey, but I'm not going to do the honey because being vegan we don't want to do the honey. But I'm going to put some white sugar in this one. My daughter doesn't like the white sugar, but I don't mind because I know it's going to be consumed. She's just protecting her, uh, I think so. her eggs. Okay, so I am going to put... I would say maybe a tablespoon of sugar. Depends how you want it. If you're okay with a little sweetness, because this is going to ferment a little longer now. So I'm going to put maybe a half a tablespoon of sugar in it. And all you do is bottle. There we go. We're going to go all the way to the top and just tap it and now it's going to ferment a little longer in the bottle and this is going to come like a nice light pink color almost like a champagne and whatever is in your the yeast is only going to continue sucking up that sugar that I put in and it's going to just get fuzzier and fuzzier than when you pop this you can actually hear that 
like a champagne bottle, eh, Erica? So that's how easy that is. Now I am going to show you. Uh, we went out and we bought black cherry juice. juice. And we're going to just, it's okay, Erica, just put it in. There we go. And we're going to put about a quarter cup. Let me no, see, maybe. A third. That's a third of a cup? Yes. Yeah, maybe we'll put more. Two thirds? How much? Yeah, we're going to put two thirds. Two thirds? Yeah, we're going to put a two thirds because we want to have that nice uh, cherry flavor. Now, you can put fresh cherries in there, um, but we're not going to do that because you really have to load it with a lot of cherries or you have to make your own juice. That's a lot of juice, no? No, that's good. That's good. So, what we're going to do now, because the sugar is, uh, because the juice is. It's not, there's no sugar added, but it's a very sweet, it's already natural, natural, natural sugar. sugar. We're not going to add any sugar here unless you want to. Do you want to add no. more sugar? No. So we're basically just going to pour, sorry, the rest in tea. Now, how long, and look at that beautiful color. Now, this is going to ferment with the sugars the natural sugar that's inside the the juice Erica so this batch we're doing a couple of look at the beautiful color that's going to be the color of this kombucha so you're going to have a nice strong cherry taste and it's going to here you go Erica do you want to do more or less you're okay with two-thirds Are you okay? This is up to there. Two thirds is gonna come. Let me see where does it reach. It's hard to tell with the bottle. You want to do this one only one? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna try one with just one third cup of juice. There we go. I'm just going to push that over. Fill up my container again. Make my life easy. There we go. And you want to reserve some of that liquid for the new batch, of course. So this is going to be, yeah, a little lighter. You might want to, you might want to. Yeah, I think uh, I'll do just a third. Just a third? You're good with just a third? It really is up to you. You can also juice your own juice. Right now we're in a... Um, crunch time so we're not doing the um, we're not juicing it ourselves but you can do fresh squeezed orange juice you could do fresh squeezed pineapple juice that is really really good there you go Erica and you're okay you want to taste for sugar let me see Hold on. Got a nice sweetness to it. Let me see, because I like it tart. So that will get tart. That's good. That's good? Okay, so she's okay with just one third cup. But again, like I said, it's really up to you. Or what you could also do is just make all your bottles plain. And then uh, when you make some fresh juice, you could just pour some kombucha in it when you're drinking. Ready? That one's good to go. That one's good to go. So how simple is this, guys, really? And the fraction, it costs nothing to make kombucha, <gasps> really. I mean, it costs green tea. I keep spilling this. Really is not expensive. Now, my favorite, my favorite, it's not Erica's favorite, but it is my, but Erica will drink it if I give it to her, is my apple pie kombucha. What I do, and I'm going to show you, oh, Okay, let me just fill up this bottle and then I'll show you what I have. Oh, so good, the cherry. The cherry juice. Yeah. It's so good. Can I have one more bottle, Erica? I'm gonna make another apple for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can drink it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the nice foam on top. And this will only get fuzzier as you do it. If you find that in a week when you open it up, it doesn't have that fuzz you want, 
I mean, it's still good to drink, but what you could do is put a little bit of, you know, maybe a half a teaspoon of sugar and just let it stay a couple of more days and it'll get a little fuzzier on you. But it's really, really delicious. Erica, can you go give me the apple juice downstairs, love? Mm -hmm. So I'll show you how I make my apple pie kombucha. Now, I opened this one yesterday, but did you hear that pop? And look at that. Whoop! Do you see how beautiful that is? So good. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to show you how simple it really is. And again, kombucha is up to you. Do you want it sweeter? Uh, do you want to stay away from the sweetness? Do you want to age it to the point where there is no more sweetness? Or do you want to add some extra sugar and have a sweeter type drink? And if you really think about it, if I put half a tablespoon in here, and let it go for another week, which I will. I'm going to just put about a half a tablespoon in here. And I am going to add, you could do fresh apple juice. You could buy, um, you could buy apple juice, but not the, not the, uh, the, uh, not the caca apple juice. You don't want that. And we're going to put about, well, as much as you want really it really doesn't matter it's up to you how much you want I'm gonna put the rest of this with tea but I'm gonna leave space cuz I'm putting a cinnamon stick in there yeah I'm gonna break the cinnamon stick you don't want to put a lot of cinnamon stick there we go a little piece like this, even half of this is good, but I can't seem to break it smaller than this. But I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon stick, and the rest is going to be tea. And I'm going to close this up, and this is going to give me the most delicious apple pie kombucha. And if you've ever had, um, I think I made a video on it one time where uh, you buy uh, just plain vanilla ice cream, and you make a float when you're apple pie is done you make a nice float by putting apple pie and ice apple pie kombucha with ice cream my god you it's like you're died and gone to heaven it's really that good so I can probably make one more bottle so I might make another apple pie because that's my favorite and I'm gonna go get the bottle here we go We've got some cinnamon stick, a little bit of sugar, there we go, and when I tell you this is good guys, this is my favorite. My daughter wants to do the black cherry. Remember, you could always do your own, let me see if I could do this without spilling it. Oh, so good. My favorite. Uh, remember, you could always make your own juice. Or what I used to also do is uh, when the pineapple is really ripe, when I want just a slight taste of pineapple, um, I would just put a chunk of pineapple right in, uh, right in my bottle rather than making a juice, especially if I'm in a hurry. Just a chunk of pineapple goes inside my, um, oh, did you see what I just did? Someone had a brain fart. I forgot to put my apple pie in there. My uh, my apple. Yeah, that's my Connie. Okay, let me just pour it in. There we go. A little extra sugar in there only because I lost some of it. But how simple is? bottling kombucha guys now I'm using all these empty bottles of kombucha that I have because I don't throw them out I keep them for this one reason and it's just to make my life easy when I'm bottling uh, kombucha uh, you've got the right size bottle of kombucha and look already do you see how this one's turning pink already and when you pour this in a glass it's like you're having pink champagne but you do add some sugar to it 
Might add just a little more. There we go. Simple, simple, simple. You don't have to add that much. It really, again, is up to you. Do you want to have just a little sweetness in your drink or you don't want to have the sweetness at all? So that really is up to you. And this apple pie kombucha is the bomb.com. When I tell you, you should make it. You should make it. Cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, apple juice, and your, uh, and your uh, I use green tea. That's already fermented. You put it in there in a week, two weeks. Uh, test it to see if you're okay with the sweetness. If you if you find it's uh, not sweet enough and too tangy, just put a little sugar in there. Tap it up. Let it go maybe for a couple of days. If you have a lot of fizz, uh, you might not even want to ferment it outside the refrigerator. You might just put a little bit of sweetness and then just put the whole bottle in the fridge and that's going to be ready for you to drink um, but if you want it really tart if you like my daughter she likes a tart without the sweetness whatsoever just let it go until it's tart enough for you uh, but you don't want to put them in the fridge you're going to have to let them ferment again now uh, you have to put them in uh, a place where it's not super warm and it's more like a room temperature now i've got still kombucha in here I'm going to take my SCOBY and I'm putting my SCOBY right back in. Here goes my SCOBY going back in. You see how my SCOBY looks like? That's okay. It's only going to get bigger and bigger, guys. And I'm going to make a new batch. Maybe I'll just put this all back in here. Make my life easy. There we go. So it's only going to, it's going to, my kombucha is going to work faster. It depends how big your SCOBY is. Uh, is it a new SCOBY? what the temperature is, that'll tell you how fast uh, your SCOBY is going to grow. The warmer it is, the more it's going to grow. Uh, you don't want to wait till it's super tart uh, because this way uh, you can start flavoring your drinks and you can simply uh, bottle them and let them age that way. So these are ready now. So we've got, let's see how many we made. We made four cherry one hibiscus and two apple pies so we made seven bottles with the amount that i used out of this big jug and now i'm going to make a new batch i am going to make a new tea again the tea that i'm going to make it's the same amount tea with the same amount of sugar and because i know the size of my bottle i am going to go up to a certain level to make my uh to make actually it's going to go a little higher because i still have some sorry some tea at the bottom here I'm not sure if you can see it okay do you see how much tea i still have so last time i made enough uh the amount of tea that i made i went all the way up to here so because i have that much tea i can bring my water level right up to the neck now so i know the size i have you want to work like with a gallon of liquid the amount of tea that i tell you uh tea bags to sugar is basically for like a gallon of um gallon of kombucha and that's it you put your uh scoby back in with some original tea which is here and now i'm gonna boil some water and i am gonna put my tea in that water let it steep till tomorrow come tomorrow i'm gonna add uh, the tea with the sugar into my bottle into my jug and the rest I'm gonna go all the way up and I am going to um, Put filtered water. I'm going to use my Labrador water to make it so How easy and how simple and look at all the bottles I made with that little bit of Tea that I used and that little bit of sugar that I used If I would have bought this even at four dollars a bottle eight eight is already sixteen dollars if you're buying it at the store and do i have a price here no but really this is almost like 32 dollars of kombucha if you're going to buy it at the store and all i did was use 10 tea bags and a little bit of sugar and water do you save money yes and the best part about this is you can get flavors that you probably can't get at the store you can get as creative as you want to. 
so there you go guys hope you like this video and um, try the apple pie kombucha <laughs> i love it i love it make beautiful kombucha guys this is so healthy for you it's good for your belly it's good for you it's good for everything it really is a beneficial drink it really is so thank you guys for dropping by again and guess what i'm gonna see you in my next video for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.